Hello chess fans, my name is Art Big and I'm the author of Chess, Checkers and Reversi for Android. Today it's time for the big electronic chessboard showdown. So I'm going to discuss every board on this table in detail, <coughs> including the size, the weight of the pieces, the quality of the board and uh, the LEDs if applicable. So follow me, we'll be discussing from Italy the Sertabos and the Tabitonic, from Germany the Millennium boards, from China the uh, chestnut boards, including this latest edition, which actually includes its own tablet as part of the chessboard. And then finally from the Dutch company DGT, three boards, including the compact Pegasus. First up is the DGT, a very nice solid wooden board, uh, 21 inches wide and deep. Uh, I have a very old version, let me zoom in here a little bit. You see that I still have a serial connector, uh, which really dates me. <coughs> Nowadays, of course, they all come with USB connections, but with some cabling and some adapters, you can actually still connect it to chess for Android. Let me see how heavy the queen is. Comes about in 36.8 gram on this scale. Uh, this version, like I said, I really like the nice wooden board. I like the pieces, uh, pretty uh, heavy as you could see. Uh, there's no LEDs, uh, but it registers really well D4. using chess or anything. I usually use spoken moves here because of the lack of LEDs. Uh, but C4. Very, C4. very solid recognition, no problem. So a very nice board by DGT. Uh, tournament size, tournament size pieces, uh, highly recommended. Of course, you want to have the USB or nowadays also the Bluetooth versions from DGT. Next up is the DGT e-board, which is a slightly cheaper alternative to the wooden version that I just showed you. This one is made of high quality plastic. Uh, I have a USB version, uh, connects really well with chess for Android. The pieces are slightly heavier, I'll show you. So the queen is about 50.2 grams, so you can actually feel that it's slightly heavier in the hand. Also, no LEDs on this board. Um, I showed it here with the DGT clock, so Chess for Android has full integration with the DGT chess board. So I used the screen for some information. Here we start a new game. I also have the clock synchronized. So when you start playing, <coughs> registers really well, shows the move and it shows the time you have left. So I have it on two seconds, so I actually already run out of time here but it still allows you to keep on playing. Knight F3, H4. And you see the chess clock synchronized with the board and with the app. About oh. 21, no, 20.5 inches. So slightly smaller than the previous DGT board. And I really like the integration with the DGT chess clock. Up next is the DGT Pegasus. This board, unlike the previous two others, is a little bit different, but you won't notice that as a user, but as a programmer. It doesn't have piece recognition, it just has a piece position. So it knows where a piece is, but it doesn't necessarily know what piece it is. So the programmer, in this case uh, my Chess for Android app, has to sort of keep track of where pieces move in order to play the game. No worries, you won't notice it if everything is okay. But just a slight different from a difference from the previous two DGT boards which have like full piece recognition, where it actually knows, oh, this is a knight, this is a rook, this is a king, etc. This board is more compact, 13 and a half inch, close to 14. The pieces are a little bit lighter, so let's have a look at the queen. 17.7 .7 gram for me. It has LEDs, so when you lift a piece. This one has LEDs, so let me lift a piece. Then when you have the move codes enabled in Chess for Android, 
you actually see that it rotates through the destination squares and the missing square where the piece has been lifted. The moment I place it, the move is completed. And it shows the counter move also with the same flashing LEDs. I actually wanted to program it that the LEDs are all on at the same time, but the Pegasus doesn't allow for too many uh, LEDs at the same time. So let me show you if I lift the bishop here, I wanted to show all the lines at the same time. But instead I just chose to circle through the possible destination squares. Not really tournament size, but perfect for like studying on the kitchen table or anything where you have a little bit less space. Now we're switching to a different vendor, uh, Chestnut. Um, what you see here is the Chestnut Air. We connect over Bluetooth between Chess for Android and the app. It's also a very nice compact chessboard made of plastic. LEDs are green and it's about 13 inches wide. And let's wait one of the queens. It comes in at about 10 grams. Fast in registering. Uh, it was very easy to program for this board. Um, here I can actually show all the LEDs when I have the move codes enabled. You see, show all the possible destination squares at once. And here's the Chestnut Pro, tournament size, full wood, a little bit over 21 inches, and the queen weighs about 22.4 grams. And what a lot of people will like is, you absolutely don't see the LEDs when they're not lit. So let me play, you see when I lift, it shows the possible destination squares, and the response, but you see no LEDs in the wood. The moment I lift it, they come on, but then when I put it down, they discreetly go away again. So for people that really like to focus on a chessboard, not being distracted by any kind of irregularities on the board, this is very good. Like you only see the LEDs at the moment you need it. A quick comment about this latest board from Chestnut. This is a Chestnut Evo. It's a really hot from the presses uh, and what is unique about this is that it actually comes with sort of an attached tablet making this a really nice integrated chess computer. The software looks really promising like over the board play bots you can learn you can connect to chess servers. The board itself is about let's say 13 inches and it's like 20 inches wide including the tablet. The queen Weights about 10.0 gram, about 10 gram, uh, and it has very nice colorful LEDs, fully programmable. I just got the API, so I'm still working on integrating chess for Android with this board. And this electronic chess board showdown has arrived in Germany with this beautiful Millennium Chess exclusive. A sturdy compact board about 16 inches and the queen comes in about 12.9 grams. It comes with its own uh, autonomous device with engines and chest clocks, very nice. But you can also buy the C-Link separately and that allows you to connect to the other devices over Bluetooth Lite. In this case Chess for Android. At the starting position two uh, LEDs blink if you connect to Chess for Android indicating what side light is playing from. The LEDs are subtle, but slightly visible. The brightness can be controlled from Chess for Android as well. So if you make them at the lowest level, they're very subtle and they don't distract from the play at all. Then as usual, when the move code is enabled, you see like the blinking square for the missing piece and the steady ones for the destination square. And you can just start playing. The board has very steady piece recognition. I had no problems programming for this at all. Knight F3, D6. And again, you see the move codes is able to show all possible destination squares 
And here is its bigger brother, the Millennium Extreme Tournament Edition. Very nice sturdy board, tournament size 21 and a half uh, inches. And the queen comes in at about 44.1 gram. Same setup, you can use the device that comes with it, or you can buy the C-Link and connect to Chess or Android. Similar setup with uh, blinking LEDs, you can control the brightness. Very, very sturdy registration. Move codes. Really a pleasure to play with this board. To give you an indication of how fast the piece registration is, I put it in setup mode on Chess for Android, and then you can actually just move the pieces around and set up your favorite chess position to study. And we have arrived in Italy with the Sertabo line. Wooden board, compact, about 14 inches, connects over USB. And the board doesn't necessarily come with a P-set, although you can buy one. But you buy the chips and you can attach the chips to any P-set. Play is as usual. Knight F3. D5. Blue LEDs in this case indicate the counter move. This chip doesn't know whether it's a knight or not. But Chess for Android learns from the beginning position what chip is what. And then after it has learned that and stored the chip IDs internally, you can do a lot more like um, board setups, because then the app has registered the P-set. This is another Chetabo board, about 19.5 inches, made of wood. <laughs> um, Piero, the owner of Chetabo, kindly made a Chess for Android 10 years anniversary edition for me when the Chess for Android app reached that age. Really nice board and it works the same way. So you use the Setabo chip slay with any piece set that you like over this board using the LEDs as well. One thing I want to quickly mention is because the Setabo boards use the identifying chips and not the piece sets necessarily, you can also use it for other 8x8 board games. So if you're into American checkers, you can get checkers for Android and actually use the Setabo board and if you like Reversi, you can get Reversi for Android, connect with the Setabo board. Uh, here I have a 3D printed set with two chips on both sides for black and white. And then you can actually start playing Reversi F5, D6. using the Setabo board as a Reversi electronic board. And lastly, from the same manufacturer as Setabo, we have the Tabutronic, uh, about 13 inches. And similar to the DGT Pegasus, this doesn't come with uh, pieces that are recognized, nor with the Certavo identifying chips, but it comes like with magnets that you can attach to any chess set that you have. So this is my own chess set, it doesn't come from Tabotronic. I connected the magnets to all the, the bottom of all the pieces, and then you can play and the moves, here you see the move codes, are indicated by red LEDs. And when I place it back, you see that the LEDs are not visible. This is a glass covering. It feels very nice. And again, you can choose any piece that you have and you use the magnets. H4. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please support me with uh, nice reviews and ratings. Uh, Just for Android has always been free, no ads. I've even been offered a lot of money for it, but I declined because I want to keep supporting this app simply for the love of the game. So be kind, and I'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm.